Hi everyone and welcome to this video and I finally found a Darth Maul from the Black series and um, he's quite a hard character to find even though he has been released a couple of times. Uh, he was one of the original Black series figures in the orange line. Uh, the only issue with this version is that it's highly faked so quite a lot of the ones you see on eBay at low prices are fake. Genuine ones go for a lot of money, which is why I've kind of waited and waited and waited <laughs> uh, to get this figure in this archive packaging because I know this will be a genuine figure and completely steered clear of any of these with the orange line. But for some reason, this was from a charity shop on eBay. It was about half the price of the normal price this figure goes for. So I was shocked when I saw this, brand new sealed, and it was from a charity shop. So I snapped it up as soon as it was listed practically. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy to have this. So this is the front of the packaging. It's, as I said, in the archive collection. It's like re-release of an old figure. See the nice artwork there. A description of the original release from 2013. So yeah, I'm so happy to have this. He does have an extra head as well. I wasn't sure if he would have it because the original release had it and you could see it in the packaging, but this one is hidden. So yeah, let's get it out and have a good look. I think you can take this like um, cape off and everything and swap his head. So he's got a lot of features to him. So this is him in the packaging. You can see exactly what he comes with. Uh, his like, electro binoculars, his dual bladed lightsaber, and an extra head. So, let's sum out the packaging. I'll go over the accessories first. Uh, so, get his lightsaber. If you've seen the movie, you know it gets chopped in half at the end. Um, so, it does come in two pieces. I presume it can actually come apart and you can use it like that as well. I'm not 100% but I presume you can. But that's it put together. Can't quite see it on screen but... There you go. And I presume the blades come out. Yeah. So lots of different combinations you can have with that. And we get an extra head. So it looks like it might be a photo reel head. The eyes look a bit photo reel to me. I'm not sure if it's the same head. Don't know. I presume I'll find out in a minute when I take his cape off why it's got an extra head. And last accessory is his electro binoculars. I suppose they could have also included like one of those hover droid. Uh, security camera things he sends off on Tatooine uh, but he has got a lot of accessories already so probably didn't need that. Then we've got the actual figure himself this is his version in his like capey robe thing he wears this on Tatooine um, the first time you kind of see him and then later in the movie uh, he takes it off when he's fighting and uh, now I've got to work out how you take this off because I'm not 100%. I think the head is stuck to it somehow. Yeah, so that head pops off and you have to kind of maneuver it. It's not something you really want to keep doing lots because you don't want this bit damaged but you can see there, the head's stuck in the robe, which is kind of a good feature. You won't lose it. <laughs> and it means that the sculpt stays intact and it fits right on the character. So I probably won't display him like this. I prefer him without the robe on. So that'll probably be uh, put away. And then you're left with a headless Darth Maul. So you just pop his head on like that, and then you've got the proper uh, Darth Maul ready to duel Qui-Gon and Obi one Yeah, so I prefer him looking like that. He's got a rather strange mixture of soft 
fabric goods here, yeah. soft plastic and obviously hard plastic. His head does move quite well, lots of, lots of articulation there. Um, his arms do go all the way round, he's got elbows, the twist is at the wrist on this figure. And he's got lots of body movement that moves very well and lots of twist as well. Legs, uh, you've got a thigh, the knee, I presume it's double jointed, looks like it. And feet as well, so he's got a lot of movement. Standing up, let's have a look. Yeah, he's not too bad. He seems to stand up straight away. Um, he has got peg holes in his feet as well, it's, but his boots are quite chunky, so that helps him stand up. I'm going to attempt to pop his lightsaber in his hands. can't remember exactly how he holds it, but there should be a way. So it goes in there. Yeah, I'm not exactly, can't exactly remember how he holds it, but... You would have thought he can hold it two-handed, unless you have it like that. <laughs> like at the end when Obi One slices it in half, you could do that, I suppose. It's going to be quite hard to get the two pieces together and him holding it at the same time. It's going to take a lot of work, so don't try and do it on the video. I'll just this for the moment. So you can hold it like that. I know he does spin it round and lots of different things in the movie so you can just have him like that. I think he uses like force pushes and stuff at the same time so you can kind of have him one-handed and then ready to do something with his other hand. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was, he actually looks quite cool like that. I think I'll have him displayed kind of like that somehow. But yeah, absolutely loving this figure. As I said, it's it's been a figure on my list well, since the beginning of me collecting Black Series. It's just been very hard to find a genuine one. Um, I know I was aware of the Archive line version but it's just very hard to find it and it's quite expensive and I was just I was just very lucky to find this one and it was brand new as well and half the price is the normal one it just happened to be a charity shop selling it on eBay. So thanks for watching this video everyone please subscribe to my channel see my future videos and I'll see you all soon. Take care bye